The content on this channel has been created for adults. If you're not at least 13 years of age or older, then please do not watch this content. Sorry, dude. Come back when you're 13. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Off Tap Life. Always a pleasure to be rocking and roll with the best family on the tube. Now, guys, I'm not going to delay this. I'm not going to freaking stretch this out because if you just came in from the last reaction, we just heard her do this song right here. It was absolutely incredible. It might have been the last one. Depends. I just realized that when I upload videos, sometimes something uploads first and might have premiered first. So just in case it wasn't the last one, check out uh, Meryl Bainbridge. Uh, it was called uh garden in my room so look for that one if you haven't heard it yet and then listen to this one because i think this is going to be kind of a continuation of that same type of feel that she does because Mel bainbridge has this one called under the water so i see a trend with the titles they're very naturey very airy very freaking like just i i already get this feeling like it's going to be just this real again um really kind of beautiful way to express her feelings using nature as a tool to do so so we're going to find out without further ado again from jazzy j thank you very much i can't wait to hear this and guys let's get it on right now meryl bainbridge underwater and this is the u.s version so it's gonna be cool i, I guess that means she's not well does that mean she's not from the states i don't know where she's from then um, might need some more info on her, but for now, let's enjoy the song and see how she's freaking taking us on another magical journey on this one. Let's go. time ago was we walking around walking around in the garden so referencing that kind of garden you know sense that we got from the previous song and I just love the imagery in this like it's really cool like she is so vibrant and really beautiful like she matches how you would think she would look you know singing this song like just so beautiful this innocence about her and again taking it in a this is like a songwriter song like this is a real songwriter, you know what I mean, who really has a way with words and has a way to visualize and really bring you in and reel you in. I, I love it. This, she's a real songwriter. I, I'm and I'm guessing she wrote this song. She had to. It feels so much more personal and so real. It doesn't feel like something someone else wrote. Like I feel like this is coming from a special place in her own heart. Like I really do. Oh my gosh, I love this. Let's go. I saw you turn around. And still you turn around My eyes are playing tricks on me How I miss you I could be a lover Chained under the water Under the water I could be standing on a ladder To make it easier To make it easier <laughs> Your eyes are colored stone You've got an earring through your nose Your chain Okay. 
wasn't expecting that those vocals to kind of come in. I didn't know. To me, I, I that was that was just so really unexpected. I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I like. It kind of feels. It changes the feel of the song to me. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's. Ah, uh, I was enjoying more of the innocent feel that when she was singing, but. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It's just me, maybe. But I wasn't expecting that. It kind of just feels a little bit too... I think it feels a little bit too... Um, like... Not for... Not in, not too... Not hardcore. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I was just... It just felt more innocent until they came in. Then the skies are coming in. I don't know. <laughs> it just could be me. I mean, it's a beautiful song. I think I just... For me, I really was enjoying that really beautiful subtleness of it. You know, it just, again, because I started out with the garden and then she's like under the water and it's, I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep listening to it though. I could be a song i love the concept and i love just the way they did the music video in general like you know the whole imagery of behind it and this is the first time i actually seen her I, I hadn't seen her in the last video you know it didn't have a video of her face or anything um really cool concept i you know i, I get why they've got the guy voice it's kind of like i think he's rep the guys are representing the guy in you know who's been under the water kind of situation and um i don't know though i i kind of was enjoying it without that i i kind of just liked the innocence that it felt more innocent and just i don't know subtly gentle or something with just her vocals but you know i don't know each to their own right i mean potato potato i mean it's still a great song it's still super cool uh really just unique i i mean I've, again i've never heard of this artist uh so only thing I can do in my brain is like when I hear it kind of it just makes me think of who it reminds me of you know what I mean because I've never I just don't know anything about this artist and the song itself like so this is my thoughts okay I want to put it this way so after hearing two of her songs I think the the song itself and the actual like the songwriting the music itself and things like that like I feel like it's very like well written you know like i said earlier you know it's like a songwriter's song it's it's really well written stuff like it's good it really captures the essence of what she wanted you to feel of how she was feeling you know like i, I totally feel that but from a music point of view like if you were just to randomly try to compare it to something not that you need to compare it but you know to me in my brain I just got feelings of like Madonna and Kylie Minogue kind of if you were to somehow fuse them in and uh, you'd end up with Meryl Bainbridge. <laughs> That's the only way to really explain it. But I mean, look, obviously she's an artist in her own right and she's, you know, I don't know much about her again. Let me let me know if you guys do. Do you guys know much about her? Um, oh, here's some information here. So. There were two music videos produced to promote the song, the first one for Australia and a second version for the United States. Oh, she's Australian. Okay. Awesome. The original Australian version was a simple black and white video with Bainbridge walking around a forest and performing the song with a band. However, when Bainbridge broke in the U.S. with her previous single, Mouth. Oh, she's got another one called Mouth? Okay. A sleeker video directed by Martin Cahan was produced for the American market. It was released in December 1996 and showed a man and woman in a room filled with water. Wow! Okay, so she's an Aussie singer. That's awesome, man. That's really cool. I totally freaking... 
like that she was able to break into, you know, our market back home in the States. You know, it's, it's, it's not the easiest thing to do, uh, especially probably in the 90s. But that is freaking really cool. Um, wow. Super awesome. That is cool. I want to hear this. Now I want to hear this, this mouth one. Let's let's look it up really quick. This mouth one, just for a second. Let's just let's just see. Just a couple of seconds of the mouth one. Let's let's see what it is. Let's quickly. This is mouth. So this I think this is her big hit. This is her big song. to hear a little bit of that just to get a feel of where you know because after hearing garden in my room and then underwater one i was curious like where does she go with the mouth one and uh it's a different vibe it feels feels different it feels different not what i was expecting i was expecting more of a i would say airy nature ish folky not you know what i mean more of that just same kind of ah uh, that, that same feel I mean garden in room I mean if you hear garden in my room first it I think it messes you up because you you just totally feel completely different this song it feels way different than than garden in my room it's a cool song but it's different it's different but wow so this was her number one hit mouth okay interesting wow okay totally cool man be introduced to some new stuff and things like that I like it. You know, shout out to Meryl Bainbridge. I wonder if she's still performing or anything. Is she still out there doing her thing? Has she had bigger songs since then? Because this is back in 1994. So it is possible that she's still performing, maybe even had bigger successes. Let me know if you know in the comments below. I'm sure you probably know Janet. I mean, Janet, <laughs> Jazzy, <laughs> I said Janet. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure you probably know because you requested this. I'm assuming this is probably someone that you're a huge fan of. And I can see why. She's very talented. Very cool, unique vibe. Uh, I prefer Garden in the Room first. That's my first favorite. Like if I was ranking them, I like that Garden in the Room first. I really like the feel of that and just the imagery that was being conjured up in my mind after hearing that you know and while I was hearing it the experience was just like really something special and beautiful um second would be underwater for me this would be third for me um but yeah that's that's cool I like it Meryl Bainbridge uh if she has a website or her official YouTube page or something like that guys links in the description always for the original version so go over there subscribe you know give her a like give her a follow support her you got to support independent artists i think she um, i don't know if she's independent i mean i guess she was well here it says wheatley records so she could have been could be an indie label though it doesn't sound like it was a big label but you got to support artists who um you know are out there grinding and doing their thing man especially being an artist myself i know what it takes and what it you know feels like to be out there wanting the world to hear what your truth is and what you've got to say so anyways i'm gonna end this one here thank you jay as always family remember to live each one to the fullest and keep it off tap we're out